It's a quick fire get the information you need video today. Heart rate monitors, fitness trackers, do you need them for the Peloton bike? Yes or no, here we go. So let's start off with the heart rate monitor. This has specific technology built into it that lets it communicate to the Peloton bike or other devices in real time. And it provides your heart rate. So the Peloton bike is able to take this information and put it on the screen so you always know what your current heart rate is right at that second. It also is going to tell you what heart rate zone you're in, which is nice to know if you're trying to achieve something, maybe be in a certain like fat burning one that you think is optimal for you, or if you want to be able to push yourself. You're in zone two and you want to get to zone four, you know, oh wow, I'm not where I thought I was. I need to push a little harder. It gives you some nice information like that. And also at the end of the ride, it'll give you a graph that says, you know, here was your heart rate throughout the ride and the zones you were in. So you can get some more historical information to look back over other rides and kind of get an idea of how things are going for you. So it's pretty neat. Do you need it for the Peloton bike? Absolutely not. I did my first 40 rides or so without it. You still get almost all the features of the Peloton bike. It's still amazing. Don't make yourself feel like you have to get this because I'm saying good things about it. The Peloton is going to be awesome without it. You're going to enjoy the experience. But now that I have it, because I watch the forums and everybody talks about how much they like it, I'm like, fine, I'm going to get it. I will say I really like it. So I'm a techie. And if there's a feature we're missing out on that's available, we're going to try to fix that real quick. So keep that in mind with what I'm about to say. But with the Peloton bike, to get it set up in your house and pay for the first year and whatnot, usually you're spending upwards of three grand. If it's only $60, to add that other feature and just get the full experience. Personally, I say, why not? Now you don't have to get this. I've already said it. You're going to enjoy the Peloton bike with or without it. But for 60 bucks, you get a lot more information. You get some more things on the screen to pay attention to, to keep you interested and maybe keep that motivation up. So hopefully what I've said helps you out with making a decision. I do recommend it. I really enjoy it. You'll be good either way. Now the decision on what brand to get is also very easy. There are different products out there and good ones that are going to work, but almost unanimously on the Peloton forums, they say to get this one right here, the Skosh Rhythm Plus. It's linked below and so will be all the other products. So if you wanna be able to go check it out or compare items, go down there, expand the description, you'll see what you need to see. But considering how well this thing works, how easy it is to use and the price point it comes in at, it kind of becomes a no brainer if that's all you're looking for is a heart rate monitor that's gonna to sync to your bike. Now Skosh does have a nicer model. I can't remember all the stats of it, but I think it's waterproof and has some other cool features to it. I'll put the link to that one too. You compare and see if that's what you want. But I will say the, the, the cheaper model here that uh, is, I think the one I've been talking about is at 60 bucks. That is going to be more than enough for the Peloton. That's going to fit your Peloton needs. So if that's all you're looking to do, it's probably going to be more than enough, but I'll let you decide on that. Now, if you are looking for some other features outside of just a heart rate monitor, I'll kind of explain some different categories at the very end really quickly. So hang in there, I'll get to that. But heart rate monitor for the Peloton, you'll be pretty darn happy with this. So now moving on to health trackers like our good old Fitbit here. This is really a different category than heart rate monitors. Its goal is to paint a picture of how you've done from a health perspective on the entire day. And then you can look historically over, you know, different days, weeks, months, and see how you're doing and where you can make improvements. It's going to give you information like steps, your heart rate, your resting heart rate, how well you're sleeping. And it just gives you a lot of beneficial information that you can look back on and say, wow, I could have done better here. I should have been more active there. As far as the Peloton goes, it does almost nothing. You have to really draw that line and say, this isn't a Peloton tool. Now, the one thing it does do is when you're done with the Peloton ride, you can hit a sync button and it will upload that ride data to your Fitbit. So when you do go back and you're looking at your day and saying, how did I do? And you're looking at exercise you did, cause it will log those. You can see the Peloton ride information. You know, I did a 30 minute ride. I burned this many calories, so on and so on. So that is neat. And there is that level of integration, but that's really it. So when you think of this health tracker, you got to kind of think of the Peloton bike as your exercise tool, your heart rate monitor as a device that syncs to the Peloton bike to give real time information, and then your health tracker as a device that gives you a picture of your entire day. Now, do I recommend the Fitbit or other devices like that? Sure. I really enjoy having one. I wear it every day. It gives me a lot of good information. Is it a requirement when you get the Peloton? No, we've covered that. But if you're trying to head on this health journey and you want to know more information and see where you can make improvements, the Fitbit does give you a lot of beneficial information. Now, if you're thinking about getting one of these devices, there's a lot of good options. I have the Fitbit Ionic, which is their smartwatch. I do like it. It's a great option, but going back and now that I've had it for a while, 
if I was looking to get just a health tracker, which that's what I would be in the market for, I would get the Charge 3. I don't think it was out when I bought the Ionic, but it's more uh, their newest release with probably their newest technology without all the smartwatch integration. Because if I'm being honest, the Fitbit smartwatch, it doesn't really have that many capabilities to justify the price point. If I want health tracking information, I'm going to downsize the one that's got that newest technology and gives me everything I need to know from a health perspective without the fancy pants smartwatch stuff. Now taking a step back, if I'm more interested in the smartwatch capabilities, like having a smartphone but in my watch, I'm not going to go with the Fitbit Ionic. I'm probably going to look into the Apple Watch. Uh, it's just, it's way ahead of the Ionic. It's got so many things it can do. You can download apps to it and kind of set it up like a phone, but in your watch. It does a lot of things while having those fitness track capabilities. I don't even know what the price is. I believe it's pretty expensive, but if you want all those things combined into one, that's where I would look. But again, if you're just looking for health tracking information, I'd go with the Charge 3. Now, one other option is if you kind of want to combine that heart rate monitor with uh, the health tracking information all in one, there is a Garmin version, which I'll link below because I don't remember the model name off the top of my head, but that does have the AMP Plus capability that's required to sync to the Peloton to give heart rate information. Uh, but while it still does your daily tracking to give you that picture we've talked about that you can go back and see a lot of information about how you did on the day. So that could be neat. But again, it brings you into a higher price point. So kind of depends on what you want. Generally, I think the Scotia is going to be what most people want. But now you know about the different categories and you can make a decision on the best device or devices for you. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when new content comes out. Hit that like button as it does help me out and I appreciate it. Until next time. Here's to a healthier you. Have a good one.